If you have a gas stove in your home, you might want to look into other options. Researchers have found that some constantly leak a little methane even when they're turned off, and that pollutes obviously the, hair, the air in your home. For more, we're joined this morning by CTV Science and Technology Specialist Dan Riskin. Dan, listen, there was a time when everybody was changing over to gas because it was supposed to cook better, and we were all becoming home chefs, and so everybody wanted to recreate that. But tell us more about the gas that can affect our health and our kids' health. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing quite like the feeling of like that click, 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 woof, and then you've got your gas going and you're ready to cook and it's nice and hot and you can just, you feel, it's a visceral thing that you can see the cooking happening and you feel like a, a cave person uh, cooking over an open fire. But it turns out that when you have a fire in your house, a lot of different chemicals come out, especially when you're burning fossil fuels. And so there's a, a growing body of evidence that really shows that those gas ovens that look so cool really aren't very good for the environment and they're really not good for your health health or your kids' health. Um, a couple of studies come, have come out. One shows that there's methane. So methane is the gas that's burning. Methane leaks out of those things. Often 75% of the methane that comes into your home is coming in when the, when the oven's turned off. Uh, that's one thing to think about. But then also when, when you're burning that methane, there's carbon monoxide, there are nitrogen oxides, all these gases that are coming into your home and are pushing things beyond the sort of acceptable limits for where people should live. And a lot of people aren't thinking about ventilating because they can't smell those gases and so they're invisible and they're just not on people's radar. What about those fans, or like in our hood fans? Is that enough to filter the air? Yeah, so the the fan is a huge help because it draws the 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 gases away. So the the recommendation is if you do have a gas stove, try to cook on the back burners and keep that that fan going at all times. But of hmm. course, sometimes the fan doesn't actually vent outside. Sometimes it just recirculates and may go through a filter and then come back into the room. And if you're talking about something like methane or nitrous oxide, uh, that's that filter is not going to take that out. It's just going to go right back into the room. And so you find that a lot of people unknowingly are putting pollution levels in their homes that would be illegal if they were outdoors. So if people are looking in their kitchens going, okay, I want to take this out, what are their options? Well, the, the one that's getting a lot of attention is induction ovens, and they just don't look as cool when you fire it up and you start cooking your vegetables. Like, it just doesn't have that same visceral feel. But I think people are going to start to move over. The city of New York, for example, has, has made it a law now that any new homes can't have a gas line going into the kitchen, unless it's a commercial uh, kitchen for a big restaurant or something like that. They're insisting on electrical ovens. And so induction ovens are very safe. Uh, they're the kind where you sort of put your pan down on there, and then it's because of electromagnetic forces that it's able to heat the pan directly without actually having an open flame. Uh, that's largely seen as the safest option, but it's going to take a little bit of a mindset change because I think everybody's sort of addicted to that blue flame look and that feel of watching all those kitchen, those cooking shows where they've right. got the big open flame. Well, plus so all the chefs will say this is the best way to get the most even heat and this is the best way to cook these dishes. So you're right. It is going to be, have to be a really big cultural shift because for years, gas stoves have been seen as the choice for cooking. And you mentioned New York City banning them in new constructions. So what overall effect do they have on the environment? Well, I think the environment's one thing, and I think everybody's sort of got it in their heads that they want to help the environment. But for me, what really drives us home is the influence on kids. And so there's a, a, a survey, a meta study, where they looked across a whole bunch of different cities, and they found that if you've got a home with a gas stove, kids in that home are 42% more likely to have asthma symptoms than a house that doesn't have a gas stove. And they're 24% more likely to develop actual asthma, lifetime asthma, as a result of have living in a home that has a gas stove. And so yeah. you think about the oven part that cooks your, cooks your food down there. You think about the open flames. Um, when you're burning those, that methane gas, you're releasing all these things into the air of your home. And we just, most people just aren't thinking that much about circulating that air. We've, we've gotten better about air circulation thanks to COVID, but this is something that's just not on a lot of people's radars. But you see that the people who study this stuff are largely switching over to convection ovens now, or sorry, to induction, induction. ovens because they, they feel that's safer for their families. Yeah, and that's always a good sign. What the scientists do is always a good sign. Right, well, my parents have one of these, and every once in a while I'll be like, it smells, I feel like it's a stove on, I feel like it can still smell gas, but maybe that's mm -hmm. just because it's sitting around in the air. Fascinating, yeah. thanks, Dan. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.